Do you want to know what pages on your client's site or maybe your affiliate sites are underperforming? You know, you could just check your uh, keyword ranking data or even your impressions in Google Search Console, but there's actually a better and faster way. You could use Surfer's Content Planner tool to help you see which pages you need to work on first. In today's video, I will tell you my two favorite things about Surfer's Content Planner tool and give you my best tip at the end that will really help you focus on the pages that will give you the biggest boost in your keyword rankings. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so Surfer just recently updated their Content Planner tool to allow you to not just analyze keyword specific uh, terms, but also analyze your entire website. So in order for Surfer to analyze your entire website, you need to connect Surfer with your Google Search Console. So in order to do that, you just click on Search Console integration, or you can click on this line here to connect it if you haven't already. So once you connect it to Google Search Console, you click on Domain, and you can basically select any site that's connected to your Google Search Console. One thing to keep in mind is, you know, for keywords, you uh, are required to spend just one credit, but with the entire site, you need to spend four credits. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, if you have a lot of clients, if you have a lot of websites, make sure you are doing this sparingly and not wasting all of your credits. So once you um, select the domain, you just click onto the domain and uh, just let it quickly load up. So this is how the report looks like. So, you know, if you've done a content uh, planner for a specific keyword, it looks very similar. You'll see cards for every keyword, but for the entire domain, you see cards for every page on your site. All right, so uh, for this, site here there's 61 pages uh, based on my google search console and you can view all clusters so basically a cl cluster is a page and this done area is you can actually create a uh, a content editor and it'll show in this tab here of all the pages that you're actually editing so you can search by keyword you can even download all of this information as well. You can also um, sort by different types of metrics. So by search volume, content score, position, and traffic. And one of the one of my favorite things about this tool is if you go to more filters, you can see things that Google Search Console doesn't give you. So you could a filter by content score, by featured snippets, and by intent. So that's amazing. So if you want to focus on maybe pages that are shopping related, you could focus on that. Or informational related, if you want to maybe improve your educational content, you could just focus on the informational pages on your site, right? But the other data, such as impressions, keywords, position, search volume, and traffic, that all comes from Google Search Console. So I really, really like how you can incorporate the two to really make this like the best tool to optimize your entire site. So if I scroll down, uh, you can see all these different cards, and if you click on it, you can see all the keywords that this page ranks for. So you can see this data in Google Search Console, but the way that this is laid out is a lot more clear and just easier to understand. I like how you have your content score next to the page. You have all of the keywords and it tells you what the main keyword is. And you see whether or not the keywords are showing up as a featured snippet. You see impressions, position, traffic, and the monthly search volume. So the monthly search volume is also another thing that isn't available in Google Search Console. So you could see, you can prioritize which ones you really wanna focus on. So maybe you wanna focus on the keywords that have the highest search volume first. 
And you could see the overall impressions uh, and the overall position, traffic, and monthly search volume. And you can also say, for example, okay, you want to update this, you want to optimize this. All you do is just click on this pencil and it'll create this page in the content editor. And then you can optimize it um, that way. So, and then you can click on advanced view and then it'll basically open up all of these cards. So you'll see all of the keywords that rank for these individual pages. Okay, so the second best thing that I like about this tool is low hanging fruits. So if you click on this, what does this do? It basically will show you all the pages that have a low content score that are ranking on the second page of Google. So why is this low hanging fruit? That basically means that these pages are almost ranking on the, on the first page of Google that have a low content score. So if you can improve the on-page content, you can most likely move that page to the first page, right? So if you have a client that asks you, okay, what are the pages we should be focusing on? What are the, the optimizations we can do that will increase the traffic very quickly or increase the rankings really quickly? So if you wanna easily answer and provide a solution to your clients, all you do is just click on low hanging fruits and literally within seconds, you can tell your client, hey, these are all of the pages that we should be optimizing for because they are ranking on the, on the second page. And if we work on the on-page content, we can most likely boost them to the first page, right? So one tip that, that I really like is you can filter by the highest content score that way you can focus on the on those ones first because they are the ones that are almost completely optimized, right? So right now, the content score is set to low to high, but a tip to do is filter by content score high to low. So why, why filter high to low? Because these pages already have a relatively good content score and you probably don't need to do that much to uh, to increase the rankings and make it jump to the first page right so um, that's my personal uh, tip is to when you click on the low hanging fruits always filter by the content score high to low so these ones are the ones that you should be focusing on immediately if you have a, a new client or if your client asks you okay what we should be doing all right. So also uh, you can look at the local. It'll tell you what type of page this is, if it's a local related or shopping related. Right. So you can decide whether or not you want to focus on the local local pages or, you know, sh informational shopping, what have you. Right. So uh, one one caveat and I mentioned this earlier is, you know, it does take four credits to analyze, uh, to analyze an entire domain. So that's one caveat to keep in mind. And another caveat is this will not work with small sites, only sites that have, you know, this site had 61 pages, uh, but I have another site that doesn't have that many. Um, this site has eight pages and it will give you some data, but if it's a small site, if it's a new site, you won't be able to look at the low hanging fruit information, right? So if you have a brand new site that doesn't have a lot of traffic, don't use the content planner for the domain because you will just be wasting your four credits. Don't worry about that. Only if you have a site that has a lot of Google Search Console data, that you have a lot of pages, you have impressions, you have traffic, then you should use it. But if it's a brand new site, don't use it. So that's my recommendation to you. So definitely try this uh, new feature out. Um, it just uh, launched a few weeks ago. Uh, let me know what you think. Add it in the comments below. And with that said, I will see you on the next video.